I'm sorry, did I wake up in some other dimension or something? When the hell did Megan Santa's a honky Kelly become a fucking feminist hero? I mean, don't get me wrong, I did a little fist pump at home when she called Donald Trump out on his misogyny during the primary debate. But when she rolled straight from that to the how many women would you personally strangle to save a zygote portion of the evening, that cancels it out, doesn't it? And look, it's not like Donald Trump was the lone sexist on the stage. For fuck's sake, Scott Walker was there. Megyn Kelly was just being the same Republican shill she's been her entire career. The Republican Party is having a problem because the wrong idiot is leading the polls. So she stepped in and did what she was told. She smacked Trump with one hand while giving Marco Rubio a hand job with the other. And that's impressive in a rub your belly and pat your head kind of way, but it doesn't exactly earn her the feminist medal of valor, now does it? I mean, I'm not about to come to Donald there's something dead on my head Trump's defense here, but if you honestly give me the choice between two candidates where one of them has expressed rational views on women's reproductive rights but calls women sluts and whores and shit, and the other says all the politically correct words while he's introducing legislation to make it a felony for a woman to sneeze really hard after coitus, I'm going to lean really hard towards option A. And it's no coincidence that every question Donald Trump was asked cut straight to one of his many disqualifying weaknesses as a candidate. But when it came time to moderate Rubio or Jeb Bush, all the questions were stuff like, do you find it hard to be that awesome all at once? Think about it. While the media is seizing on this one comment from Kelly about Trump's misogyny, Marco Rubio is walking out of this debate desperately insisting that he staunchly opposes the rape and incest exemptions and anti-rape laws. And fuck, Mike Huckabee? This guy went on national television the other day and lauded Paraguay for their heinous decision to force a 10-year-old girl to carry her rapist baby to term. He then went on to toss out every disproven, debunked, nonsensical, anti-abortion argument in the quiver. He talks about a person he once met that wasn't aborted, and shucks, he was a great guy even though he was a rape baby. He adds the thoroughly discredited shit about women being racked with guilt for the rest of their lives about what those eight undifferentiated cells would have wanted for dinner on their birthdays. Responding to a look of abject horror from host Dana Bash, who simply looked at him as if to say, you shouldn't be allowed to use a fork without adult supervision, Huckabee explained that there just weren't any easy answers in a situation like this. Well, newsflash, Hucks, if you're stupid enough, none of the answers are easy. Now, of course, Kelly could have gone after their misogyny as well, and didn't. She went after the same person all the other moderators went after. And yes, something is better than nothing, but how far have we fallen when we dare to attach the word feminist to a person that voluntarily works for the news network that has advised its female listeners twice in the past three weeks to just make the fucking sandwich and quit bitching? And yes, two separate Fox anchors have actually used the words make him a sandwich in response to feminism in the last three weeks. So, with apologies for failing to end on a high note once again this week, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath.